and we're live. My thing grew really, really fast. Um, you know, there are days when I'd get 25,000 subscribers, um, you know, and just big leaps and bounds. Uh, I don't know how many millions I got in one year alone, uh, subscribers. Um, you know, it, it, part of it was like learning to create a viral video um, on purpose. Because at the time, it seemed like most viral videos were accidental. You know, like, like just somebody would trip and fart and it would be funny and everybody would share it. There was chocolate rain, you know, and, and stuff like that. And it was like, well, what are the, what are the uh, common denominators of all of these videos? You know, it's, it's the, the shareability of it, the, the curious nature of this thing, the mystery of it, um, the cool factor of it. And, it, you know, it, it's also funny. And it's, you know, how long are these videos? The shorter is better. And it was, was it was sort of com it was sort of combining all of these all of those things together to create the perfect viral video that you could upload every week, and uh, and also at the same time keeping production value to a point that's sustainable. And I, I did all that perfectly, if I, if I do say so myself. So you know that my videos would be featured on CNN and Fox News, and uh, you know I was uh, G4 TV would come down and do a segment with me for. Every week, you know, my my videos were on mainstream media because people were like, "This Russian man somehow has a, a a deadly new machine gun, and the Russians have it. What is America to do?" You know, and you know that that sort of like mystery factor behind, uh, you know, the character. Like, who is this guy? Right? You know, he says, "I'm FPS Russia." What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Right? That's not a name. That's a that's not really even a title. That's just a uh, an idea uh, uh, of something, you know, so, you know, not really going too in depth about who this guy is or what he's up to. You know, people thought, is this guy a Spetsnaz commando? Is this guy in the United States? Is he in Russia? Is he in? No, no, no. He's in Ukraine. I can tell by the accent. Trust me, that's Ukraine. He's in Ukraine. See the snow there? You know, it, it, whenever it would snow. Oh, let's crank out a couple of videos. It snowed. That'll really throw him off. Uh, all of that stuff was, was kind of key to 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 that success but but yeah just leaps and enormous bounds and then kitty was kind of pioneered a kind of branded integration on youtube that no one else was doing you know it's if you're selling something nobody wants to be sold to necessarily unless they really like you i mean we do the we do ad reads right people like us they're they're happy to hear from us and they trust our opinions on these things so that works but that wasn't really what FPS Russia was doing. It, you know, he, it's it. You don't you don't need to know me. You don't need to trust me. You don't even need to like me. It's it's about showing this product off in a viral way, and and selling it without selling it, right? Selling it on its own merit alone. And uh, and she really pioneered that. So whether we were working with uh, a, a movie company, like we worked with, um, I remember Ben Stiller called my house one day. And, uh, and he's like, who are you? What are you? You know, like, I've been watching this shit. Who's writing these jokes? Who's, who, who are you? You're American? Okay, who's writing the jokes? Well, I, I kind of just make it up. On, that, that, that's great. All right, well, we want to work with you somehow. And so, like, then we start working with his company, Red Hour Productions, and uh, promoting a, we promoted a movie for them. And I uh, went to their studios out in L.A. and got to meet those guys. And then just every step along the way, we worked, um, we'd go to E3 and we'd meet with gaming companies, uh, whether it was a game like Rage or, um, I'm blanking out, the um, Medal of Honor Warfighter, Hitman, all that stuff. You know, you, we just go meet with those people and uh, sort of pitch what we could do for them. And, uh, you know, like, hey, if you, this package is the cheapo package. It'll cost you X amount of money. This is the mid-range package. It'll cost you this much money. This is the crazy balls to the wall package. It costs this much money. And this is what each one entails. And almost all the time they'd go for the mid-range package because the cheap package, which wasn't cheap at all, really didn't have a lot of cool shit in it. The balls to the wall package costs a lot of money, enough to buy a house. So they'd always go for the, the mid-range, which was still an enormous amount of money. And, you know, to, to, for me to produce a four-minute video with like, Three thousand dollars worth of overhead, so it was uh it was really easy, you know, to once once I got into the hang of the idea of the whole thing, to just keep cranking them out, you know. Has it ruined you, Kyle? I suppose, I suppose it has to some extent, 
Um, but, but, you know, I really like the simple things in life, right? Like I don't, I, I, I don't need a lot of money. I've, I've saved a good bit of money. I have all the things I really need at this point in life for the most part, you know, uh, there's a pretty good tail end on, on YouTube videos, especially the I, ones that are, sorry. I was going to say, and, and I'm not done yet. I've yeah. got, to, um, I've got some legal troubles going on right now but but that's soon to be resolved i believe to a to a happy ending and uh, i i have some fun things to do uh both on youtube and twitch i think um i really like uh i really like ice poseidon because i feel like what he's doing is a little bit like what i used to do but he's doing this irl thing and it's kind of stuff that i've always kind of had in mind for funny videos but they were just like a little too outrageous and a too a little bit too unmarketable I want to do some IRL streaming, sort of like what he does, and uh, make it be a pretty, pretty fucking outrageous. And uh, I also want to do some gaming stuff, and uh, you know, I'll harness my subscriber base. And I've got a couple million people on Facebook, and um, so, so yeah, I've got some interesting plans, and, I, and I've got plenty of people I can collaborate with, where they're, uh, you know, that are both in gaming and streaming and entertainment and stuff like that. So. But you probably some... never go back, though, to outside of this. I mean, you're talking about a pretty wide set of content there, but it's all content creation. Probably stick yeah. with that regardless, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, it's I, hard I'm... to sell cars. Yeah. Oh, maybe I mean... not. It's got a large viewer base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... I, I could do that. I would enjoy that, probably. It's just too many hours of, of actual work. I don't want any part of that. Um, and I just don't need to, I guess. Uh, so, so, yeah, I, the, my, the next little stage of my career, I guess, is going to be uh, a combination of things. I, I haven't exactly nailed down what I'm going to do, but it's going to be something similar to what we're doing right here, right now, uh, with, you know, and also making some fun content on Twitch and also doing some streaming. We'll definitely get some chatterbait streams in and get going to harness that little platform. I'll I think watch that's, that, Kyle. Of course you will. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, why, why would you get line. How huge FPS rushing peaked at, like I, I know you were top nine sub channels on youtube is that the best is ninth is uh, did you get yeah yeah ninth dude like who's ninth right now logan paul's not even that high right yeah I don't know. is it paul logan i don't even know but logan dude, paul logan paul yeah like you could name some giant people h3 h3 is not even close to ninth you know like fps russia ginormous yeah, and the um the growth per day was was the really uh, interesting uh, stat, you know, um you know thou uh, thousands an hour at yeah, times, thousands, you know, per stuff hour. like that. How cool is that? Yeah, that nuts. it's it's it, so when when you start seeing that kind of like, yeah, yeah, when you start seeing that kind of growth, you sort of give up on this idea of the way you're connected with your subscriber base when you're a smaller channel because it's impossible now. Because you can't keep reintroducing yourself every day. You can't, there's no way you can both at the same time be creating viral videos that are five to eight minutes long and simultaneously introduce yourself to the, the 75,000 subscribers who just have joined in the last six days. You know, that, that's impossible. So you, so you have to pick one or the other. But that kind of feeds right back into the loop that I described where you're kind of a mysterious... Uh, unknown kind of intangible thing, which is something that I enjoyed. Yeah. Um, 